How'd you guys meet? Yeah, so I had been making songs uh, with Harley, the guy who does our like mixing um, engineering stuff in Abbotsford in our first, or, like my first song, I've written like, a girl part, but like in the second verse, I ha honestly did like had no one who could sing it. I just followed India like on Instagram, like we were some friends at that point. She had posted stuff like on her Instagram previously, like her singing and stuff. She could actually sing and she had in one of her like highlights in her story, like an old video of her singing. And she had like an awesome voice. I just like in the little highlights, I just like sent her a message being like, hey, really random, but I've got like this girl part on this song. Like, would you be down to sing it? Like send through like the version of me singing it. And yeah, you were kind of like and I was all like, for it. Like, on the yeah, yeah, I was like, I may as well, because it was just fun. And it, cause it was in a studio and everything. It was just a good, I don't know, opportunity. I didn't think anything yeah. would come of it, but yeah. It was kind of just going to be one interaction. Like, all right, we did the song. Um, thanks, like maybe like we'll do a song, another song like further down the line. And India was kind of like, oh, actually, like I'm, I'm kind of keen to like get into like mm. the, the music gig a little bit more. Would you want to like catch up and like talk about it? And then like so we organised, like shit, we organised have a coffee. I think maybe it's like a, a week later during the coffee. I think we both kind of like, oh, this could actually work. Like the dark, like after having like heard the song with like my voice and then her voice and then like the two blended together. It was kind of just like a, a bit of a light bulb moment, like, oh shit, like this, maybe we could do like a sort of duet thing. Um, yeah. Like, what first got you guys into music? I guess my mum's always been pretty musical and I was just a musical kid. I always loved singing. Did like a couple of school plays back in the day in primary school. Wait, can I just say? He was Horton. I know. How fucked is that? And you were. He was Horton in Horton. That, that, that's in actually one the thing. That's pretty, yeah. yeah, and I that's was insane. Gertrude. So we were both separate primary schools, both the mains, like the girl yeah. um, guy main. I went to high school. I always kept singing and was doing singing lessons and everything, but didn't get as much into the musical theatre side of things or like the choir, just because it wasn't really my thing. But I've always loved like the idea of like writing music and I've always done that since I was little. And just always been singing. That's just, it's just like when it's in your family and like everyone in your family really loves it. That was just like on my mum's side, everyone was a little bit musical. I played piano in like grade two and then like for like two years. And then my dad, yeah, has always been like super into music. So he kind of like, I think, started a love for it there. But then in, in high school, trumpet in year seven, but then didn't like it, always wanted to do saxophone, so I did saxophone in high school for like four years and did like the whole jazz band thing, like I was playing in like the big bands and you know, we went um, and did like Mount Gambia competitions and stuff and I loved like that part of it, but I, I, I always knew I wanted to, I wasn't so, so good with like the musical theory aspect of it, like and, and mm -hmm. actually getting like the notes and like, like I read saxophone music and stuff, but um, I was always just humming along, like like the solo, doing the solo stuff or like humming along like just melodies and I knew I'd just eventually I wanted to like be able to just write my own stuff and make my own music and originally I was just like, my, my biggest like musical influence was like flute and I wanted to get into like the DJ thing so as soon as I left school like I downloaded Ableton, um, you know, to make music on my computer and started just making like little bedroom DJ beats um, and that, yeah. Eventually I just started like writing some lyrics and, and singing. I think I wanted to do the DJ thing because I knew people would like that, but I actually like prefer doing like the singer songwriter. Who inspires you the most? Like who's your favorite artist? I kind of just said mine. Well, who? Who? Um, yeah. Mine would definitely be Amy Winehouse. I pretty much know every single song of hers, every word. I used to listen to it when I did my homework, the full album. And I'd sit there and do all my homework until I finished the album. I just sing along while I did it, and she's just like an amazing songwriter. She could strap. She's just one of the best songwriters ever. Mm. Yeah, she's great. I don't know, my dad got me into like cold playing stuff when I was like really young, but definitely. Like, he was just number one Aussie boy. Like, I don't know, he just like blew up when he was like 19 from just like stuff that he just made in his bedroom. Yeah. And he just like kind of pushed the boundaries and made like something that was completely like fresh and new. Mm. And I was like, I mean, you go and listen to his original mixtapes, and there's still nothing like close to it. 
it's like what someone's pet sings. That was just so like what the fuck is this? My favourite artist at like this present moment. Like who you guys listening to? Oh. We both like Dominic Fike. Yeah, he's cool. We just think that he's great and he's obviously amazing. Just an like an amazing musician in so many different aspects. And then I love Mac Miller and I love I love Rex Orange County as well. I just like people that you can tell they write their own songs. You can tell they like, wrote all the music, they play instruments. They're just so into the music and it's so, they're like real musicians, not just pop stars. Mm. Yeah, how would you describe your music? Um, bit of this, bit of that, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> I'd say, it's raw, it's, it's raw. exciting. It's, it's, it combines like more techno-y, like, uh, music with real, you know, instrument like live instrumentation and all that stuff. And it's a really good blend of it. Plus, um, our voices—it's a boy and a girl, so it's a really good dynamic. And you just get a lot out of the song. Like, there's a lot of different things in the songs. And even though a lot of our songs are different, we have faster ones, more dancey ones, more slow ones. That there's quite a an obvious thread through all the songs that you can tell where, like, what our um, I don't know. Our sound is, is yeah. just, it's just like, I think our, our vocals and I think that it's like, we, we kind of build most of our songs, like they're just around like a concept in terms of like the way that we write them, like lyric wise. It's like, we're trying to like write potentially like a story, whether it's like a boy girl duet or um, yeah, they've got some sort of like message behind them usually or, or something that um, we found to be like relatable in our lives and something that like usually speaks to to both of us, um, yeah, in terms of like this, this songwriting aspect of it. But yeah, it's as you said, it's like a, a mix of what I make on my computer and then a mix of getting live instrumentation tracked directly in and like putting minimal effects on it so you still have those like live textures, which I think like make it, yeah, that kind of like makes our sound. It's like a bit of a blend of two. And yeah, like most of our songs, I'd say, are like pretty energetic. And, Mm. Yeah, and nice. but they're like current. It's like it's got a current yeah. feel. But I guess yeah, the live instrumentation also gives it like a nice little nostalgia. Don't play with your tea too much. Which <laughs> artists do you think you guys resemble the most in your music? No that's one. That's yeah. the beauty. <laughs> Actually, we are fresh. We are original. original. We're singular. Because that's. Um, but I think that yeah. we're not trying to copy anyone, and that's the point. Like we're, we definitely have inspiration. We have inspiration, but all separate. There's no one person that's our main inspiration, and yeah. like especially with girl and boy duos, there's not really like many. I can't really think of any that are big right now. Yeah. And like past successful ones, it's a lot more not folky, but yeah, it's yeah, slow it is and, bit folky. Like I'm yeah. saying, like, I really like of monsters and men, and like Angus and Julia Stone, like that, the first two that yeah. come to mind in terms of like. But yeah, we're so different to amazing, that. Amazing, yeah. like boy girl duets. But I think, yes, in like, in what, like, our, 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 our songs are a lot more like poppy, but um, we try to still hold a bit of like the storytelling aspect of it, like they mm. do. No, no, we don't like nowhere near compared to like the monsters and men. Like, they're, they're and the same thing to do with this stuff, which I think is crazy. But I think that's where we like want to mm. be like. Yeah, for sure. Almost like, but it's just it's a bit more like a big contemporary poppy sound. Outside of music, what do you guys do? I'm studying at uni. I do science and I'm majoring in neuroscience. Um, hoping to get into medicine, uh, and I work at a dermatologist. So, yeah. Smart cookie. <laughs> I've had like a bunch of jobs, but I'm I study graphic design. Um, that's like I do a bachelor design at uni still, but I'm at the moment like I work as a graphic designer in what's called placemaking, which is like in the kind of like architectural urban landscaping uh, district. And yeah, I kind of just like make templates and do all that kind of stuff. And where do you think each other's strengths lie in music? <sighs> strengths? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say weaknesses, but anyway. Yeah. Um, I, I think you have many strengths. I'm just trying to like pinpoint it. I don't know. Eamon is really his uh, instrument background, like having played a few instruments. He's good just with all 
music and timing and all that things. So you can hear the little things when we're recording. I actually think he's a great writer and I think he just has a natural ability for it. And I think he, more than anything, he has a really strong determination and always wants to be better at everything. And he doesn't come in with any kind of ego or thinks that he knows everything. He's really always willing to learn and wanting to get better all the time. And like, he just has a, he has a work ethic. That's, I think it's pretty rare. That's really, that was really sweet. Oh, nice. India, India's all right. Um, <laughs> India is an amazing singer, first and, and foremost. Um, just her voice, like, in the studio, just, just usually like a one take job, comparable to myself, which is just, you know, maybe like 40 takes. I also think you do have like an acute, like, ear for what this sounds good. And so there's just that trust there. I think I know if I run something past you and you go like, nah, I'm not really a fan. Like, it's usually that trust that I'm like, okay, yeah. Like she's pretty switched on with that stuff. Like knows what just kind of will work. Um, like your songwriting ability as well. You've got a very good work ethic, but she's also just very like upfront and just no bullshit, which I think I like the best. Do you like way. it? Sometimes you can't handle it. Sometimes I can't handle it, but I think for the most part, I like it. What's the biggest lesson you've learned from the music process? Mm. Rome wasn't built in a day. That's honestly. Oh, why did you have to make it come on No. With something like this, you learn quite quickly that it's just not everything works out, and sometimes you just got to sit there and think about things for hours on end before you get there. It's not all these light bulb moments one after the other. It's just yeah. you. You really just got to like sit there and keep doing it and keep trying until you get it, and it's just. It's actually really hard work, as much as it sometimes you could maybe look at someone that does music and they're just singing and just sitting in a studio, you think it looks so easy, but it's one of the most tiring things mm. ever. Yeah. What are your plans for the future? Fashion. Fame, money, power. <laughs> <laughs> Fame. No, we don't really... Girls. We don't... Oh my god, <laughs> don't ever say that again. I think the thing is we're not going into this with any expectations. We're just trying our best and seeing what happens. And if anything happens, then that's amazing. And that's an opportunity. And we take every opportunity we can get. But we're not expecting anything. But obviously, goal would be... We have we have, we have so many goals. And obviously, we'd want, you know, successful songs and... We kind of just want, it's like any sort of like artist, um, whether it's music, like or um, just art in general, like you kind of just want your stuff to be seen or heard. Mm. And it's like that, it's that expression that comes through that. And then like, and then it's the joy of having other people mm. join in and listen to it. And um, if that, if you can make that into something, you know, like your career or something, that's like ideal. But as we said before that we're both we both kind of have things outside of music and stuff though but um i think we both see it as like an integral part of our lives like, what are some mistakes you have made in the process so far not listening to india yeah for sure As of because i always listen to him and i always did yes i did <laughs> because sometimes i think I'm really opinionated, but if it's something that I feel like I don't know for sure, I won't push my opinion too hard. But then I've learned over time that I need to, if I really want to put my foot down about something, because I do give a lot of control to Eamon in a lot of things, but now I'm more just like, when I really want something, if I really don't like something, I just say, no, that's not what I want. It's not what, because obviously we're two people and it's hard because it's not a band, it's not like a lead singer and you're doing your thing. It, it's it's all interconnected and we're not always going to line up and out in our thoughts about everything. So it's probably just along the way. It's not necessarily mistakes, but I guess we've learned how to communicate better with one another and compromise when you need to compromise. Yeah. And then also... Totally like hold, yeah. hold your ground when you need to hold your ground. Mm. What inspires you when writing and writing lyrics in particular? I guess just any emotion that I'm feeling. If I'm angry at someone, I think negative emotions may be more like inspire me to write because it's an outlet. I don't really think like when I'm really happy about something, oh, I'm gonna write a song about this. But if I'm sad about something, whether it be any kind of relationship or just people watching in a way, and this sounds really bad, but like I love to psychoanalyze other people. So writing songs <laughs> about that and what I think 
are going through people's heads and their experiences and things I like about people, things I don't like about people. I love writing about that because I don't know, it's just, it's an outlet, yeah. Calling it psychoanalyzing is kind of funny, but just writing, like I find it easy or just, I like, to, I enjoy to write stories about, it's like even just, like it's a made up person or someone, or, you know, like I said, an embellishment of someone who you kind of know, or maybe it's like, you know, you take them out of a certain context and it kind of just gives you a bit more freedom just to write about, mm -hmm. oh, if they put it in this context, like how would that work? Um, so there's been some songs kind of written around that, but I also just like, like I usually just start with like a melody, and like and then I'll, I'll potentially, if I don't actually have something that's like really expressive to talk about, that's like going on with myself or like that story, it's just like, I'll try and write to that melody and it's mm -hmm. like a hooky line or something like that and then, and then build a song around that. Uh, Should we record the start again? Because I'm like, oh my god, bro. Um, 